What's up YouTube? This is Luke and welcome back to Luke Dillion Gaming. I know it's been two months since the initial release of the iPhone 8 Plus, but I think it's still worth reviewing since some of you are still confused whether or not to buy the iPhone 8 Plus or the iPhone 10. So let's jump in. So here it is guys, the iPhone 8 Plus. So let's unbox this. So I have pre-opened this box and as you can see this is the 256 variant. So and it's the gold variant. So let's open this. So first we'll be um, introduced to this um, instruction manuals and some paperwork. So this is nothing. So, this is the main unit, the main phone. So, there. The, the earpods pop right away. But you'll see that this is the iPhone 8 Plus. It has the, the glass back panel, which is somehow um, the only difference if you compare it physically with the iPhone 7 Plus. So, let's set it aside. Then, this is the earpods which comes with the dongles you can see because there's no more headphone jack in the iPhone and all of the iPhone units so there and that's the GoPro um, <laughs> saying that it stopped recording then you have the the plug there then the charging cables of course it still has the lightning cable, unfortunately for Apple, it didn't want to use the USB Type-C, so wants to stick with their proprietary cable, so then what else do we have? So there's nothing more aside from this shitty paperwork, so let's open it up. So now that we have unboxed the whole package, let's open the phone. So here, here's your iPhone 8 Plus. So let's open it. Um, it takes a while to open. Yeah, there. Did you just turn off again? Yeah. I think it just turned off again. <laughs> so it took me to the to the lock um lock screen right away because I have set up this iPhone already. And fortunately for us, I think iPhone has been doing, actually Apple has been doing their job to have their phones boot up faster because I think it took like around 10-15 mm, seconds to boot up. So it's pretty fast already compared to the previous um, iPhones which took around 30 to a minute to start up. So yeah, let's open this up. So upon opening this phone, it has a fast uh, fingerprint recognition as you can see here. It unlocks right away. Same as those um, Android phones, which some of those flagship Android phones, like the Samsung S8 and S8 Plus. Same as the, the other phones, um, flagship phones, the, the UI is very, very fluid. Although there, there are some um, changes here, like the like the notification center, the ribbons and stuff. So as you can see, um, it's very fluid, and and it's very like your iPhone um, 7 and 7 Plus with their um, upgrades of iOS 11. So I guess one thing that is um, different here is the the camera, where and the there are different features like. Like what I've said on my iOS 7, um, iOS 11 review, which you could watch here. So, so um, it has many uh, features here: time lapse, slow mo, um, photo, the regular photo, and there's this um, portrait um, new feature, the portrait mode, wherein you could choose from natural light, um, contour studio light, 
stage land and stage light mono. So there are various features, uh, new features for the camera app. So this is um, this phone. If you're looking, if you are the type of person who is into um, Instagram and stuff, those photo, photo, photo applications, photo social networking sites. This is the phone for you because because first it it has this various photography uh, features where you could instantly edit your your photo and post it right away on your on your Instagram account and your Pinterest account without the the without accessing your laptops and your computer. So I guess um, this will be a short short um um very short review of the iPhone 8 Plus because I guess um, it's very this it's very much the same compared to your iPhone 7 Plus and your iPhone 7 series of phones. So first, I would like to thank um, my girlfriend for letting me review her iPhone 8 Plus. So thank you, thank you, babe, for for making me review your your phone. Um, and it's and guys um. I'd like to tell you that her decision was to purchase the iPhone 8 Plus primarily because um, of the ongoing um, problems that iPhone 10 was having, like the the cracking screens, their durability and stuff. So this made her purchase the the iPhone 8 Plus together with the fact that it has the same specs with the iPhone 10. So I guess um, that's one of the things that you need to consider when buying the iPhone 10 especially since it has this hefty price tag. I guess um, it's your choice to 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 it's your decision to to whether to purchase the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8 Plus. But um, um, please bear in mind that yeah that you need to weigh the the advantages of which. So I guess um, that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.